Hey guys, Phil here, just saying hi. I uh, hope everything's going great for you guys. Right now, we're going to tackle what I call half step events. And a half step event, uh, for our purposes, we're going to stick with natural notes. In other words, if I look at the C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C is the C major scale. Notice they're all natural notes. And we, I could say A, B, C, D, E, F, G as well. All right. It doesn't matter how I'm addressing this. I'm just uh, talking about natural notes. And there are two, what I call half step events. Those are between E and F and B and C. You know, if you look at a keyboard, um, you have white keys and black keys. And between some of the white keys, there is no black key. Well, that is E and F and B and C. E and F, say right here on this, right? On the fifth and sixth fret, this is E and F. I could go back here, right? That's a half step event, meaning there's nothing in between those two notes. With all the other notes or letters, we have a whole step event. So if I go from A to B, that's a whole step. That's a whole step. If I go from B to C, that's a half step, okay? All the other notes, C to D, all right? That's a whole step. D to E is a whole step. Then we have E to F half, F to G whole, G to A whole. Why am I bringing this up? Well, because there's a little trick on the neck of the guitar, and if you know this, um, it can help you just spot natural notes, and over time that you know this trick, it'll help you, say, reading, if your goal is to do note reading, and or just spotting where these natural notes occur, and then modifying them to sharps or flats, all right? But it's a very simple concept, and it's something that I, I'm sure is out there. In fact, it's I know it's got to be out there. But I've never seen it explained in such a simplistic way that I'm going to explain it. And if there is another way out there that does explain it as simple as I'm going to explain it, phenomenal. <laughs> I'll never claim to have the license on all the different nuances about the guitar. Lord knows that, okay? But let's talk about this. So on a regular neck, and I'm not going to talk about classical necks, or I'm just talking about a good old standard, maybe an electric or an acoustic neck, you're going to see fret markers. Sometimes, it's not always, sometimes on the first fret, but more than likely on the third, fifth, seventh, and ninth fret, okay? Those are all odd numbers. Then when I come up to the next fret marker, that's a double dot. That's on the 12th fret. If you look at your fret marker, you'll see that that is a double dot. Okay. Why is that a double dot? It's an octave of the open strings. If I play an open E and then I play an E on the 12th fret, you can hear it's an octave higher. So E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, eight letters gets me to the term octave. We've talked about this before in volume one, but OCT means eight, tub, or of, we could say letters or symbols. It's just a word, like octagon is eight signs, octave, we could say is eight letters, okay? The 12th fret is an even fret. It is the only fret that is even that has a fret marker, and that's why, all right? Now, if I have a 24 fret neck, I would also have a marker on the 24th fret, which would be a double dot as well. It's the only two frets that are even that have markers on them. All the other even frets do not have markers on them. And this is a takeaway. If I go past the 12th fret and I go up here, I'm going to go back to odd frets, 15, 17, you know, 19, 21. I'm running out of frets because I'm on an acoustic. I'm not on an electric. I could grab a 24 fret neck, but I'm just... It's easier for me to do this on an acoustics to let the sound carry through and have it be balanced with my voice. Okay? So, that being said, we're going to dive in to half-step events and simplify this neck one more way of thinking about it. And I'm going to stop this right here because really what I wanted to do in this video is just talk about 
half-step events. What is a half-step event? Well, for our purposes, half-step events only occur when we're talking about natural notes for this trick, all right? So again, between E and F and B and C are my half-step events. And that concept in the next video, we're gonna use to simplify this neck even one step further on one string a piece as we go through this idea. So I'm gonna cut it off here because I like to make these videos less than four minutes. This one's gonna probably run over into five and a half, all right? But there's your concept. What's the concept? Half step natural events occur between the natural notes of E and F and B and C. Everything else between natural notes is a whole step. And that concept is gonna play out as I show you a simple way to understand how to know where all the natural notes reside on the neck. Okay, see you on the next vid. Thanks for watching this video. Again, I'm Phil Olson. To purchase the Awesome Guitar Series, click on the link below, it'll take you to Amazon. You can see full descriptions of each one of the volumes. After you've made your purchase and you receive them, go home and practice.